Hi guys, back again. I'd just like to show you a few of the sheaves and a couple of the knives I've made. Um, I'll just scan over what I've got here. This is just a small selection of what I've actually got. I'll start with this one here. Uh, this is a basically a, a Bowie blank. You can buy them quite cheap. Um, and you just put the handles on yourself, very cheap knife if you've got the time to make it, very simple sheath, again, 3.8mm uh, leather, hand stitched, riveted, just basic simple square sheath, move on to the next one, I'm just going to move that, there's a bit of a glare on there, uh, again this is an old Green River Mass knife, I think it's been cut down at some point, it was given to me. Uh, lovely knife, very thick blade, and again, a simple sheath, wet formed, so it fits in there nice. Again, all hand stitched, no rivets in that one. Uh, my old favourite, um, my machete, which I cut four and a half inches off the end, and sharpened the end all the way around, so I've got a bit of a multi-tool. This does get used and abused, as you can see by the blade there. Um, no mercy given to this tool, very simple. Uh, do really need to put a lanyard hole in, and I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I never get round to it. It cost me about three, four quid. Um, the sheath is a soft leather. That's just basically something to keep it, keep it safe. Uh, this little knife here. I'll talk more about that one in a minute. Um, I've got two made out of the same piece, but I will come back to this one. Uh, there's my axe, my tomahawk axe. I actually took the end off, the back piece off, found it easier to store. And just an old leather jacket, piece of the sleeve, I just glued the end up, put some holes in it, and just literally just a slip. Dead easy to make. Don't take more than about five ten minutes. I'll go to the top of the pile. This is my I'll let you have a closer look. Oh there we go. This is again a sort of a machete. Can't even remember the name of it although it's written on there but I can't read it through the camera. Uh, nice thick blade again that gets used and abused lovely knife. Uh, simple sheath again um, 3.2 mil leather, wet form, dead easy to wet form guys, you've got to have a go at it. Uh, you want um, natural leather, you don't want this like stuff that's already been manufactured, dyed and stuff, just basically, this is just veg tan leather. A little bit of dye put on it afterwards to sort of give it a bit of character. And dead easy to do. Uh, we'll be putting another rivet in there later today as... I pulled the blade out and actually cut the stitching. Um, this is one of the earlier ones I actually made, so a bit trial and error. Um, I even stitched it all up before I put that on, so then realised that I had a bit of a job getting the rivets in, but it did manage to do it in the end. Uh, this is my one of my favourite sheaves. I made this myself. Again, hand stitched. I've got brass screws and rivets, and there's my my logo, two feathers. Made this nice, a nice tight fit for this belt, so it actually doesn't slide through. So, as a knife, as you can see, the, the knife. This is the knife here. The bocker would actually slide in this way, so it's going to sit across your hip rather than hanging down your hip like so. That's the way I preferred that one. Um, I'll come over here to my little dinky knife. Found this. Um, liked it doesn't hold an edge that well for some reason but it's a nice little knife and it's just something as a backup knife and a little sheath I slung together out some old bits of leather I had left over not a brilliant example of my work but it just kept that, keeps that safe now I'm going to go to this one here which looks very much like the bocker down there and it's actually based on that I uh, made this myself very sharp 
I've not done much with the blade apart from putting an edge on it as you can see. Um, three screws, deer antler, piece of leather between the steel and the deer antler. And actually used um, glued lever on with normal glue just to hold it in place to the steel. And then actually used, because there was gaps in the handle antler underneath, um, fiberglass body filler to actually bomb this on. And then the three bolts which I took down. It's a crude dude knife as I call it. Uh, no frills. I'm not, you know, this one's lovely. But sometimes you look at them and you think, well, I don't want to get it dirty. These things, although the blade is really thin, it's about 2 mil. It is, it's not going to bend. It's high tensile steel. And the one I looked at earlier, which was this one, is made out of the same steel. And red deer antler again. I like a chunky handle. My grip's not as good as it used to be. Rather a strange looking blade. We're just messing about. And this experiment really works really well, going really sharp, and that. And all I've used to make these two knives, what I've got left of it, is a circular saw blade. That's all it is. Dead easy, easy to cut. Now, if you're careful, guys, and you don't heat the blade up, I use one of these. A stainless steel cutting dish. You can get steel ones. A stainless steel ones are better. A can of WD-40. And all I do is mark out the steel on here. Mark out the knife, the shape I want. And then gently cut with this. And the trick I found is, is not to let the metal, the steel on here, start to go blue or change colour. If you do that, then you're going to need to temper the edge because it will lose a bit of its temper. Okay, this is high tensile steel anyway. You can get away with a little bit of blue in, but as soon as it starts to glow, you've got to retemper it. So all I do is keep spraying WD-40 as I'm cutting. It's a water-based oil, as you probably know. And I've made four of these now. Two, my friends have traded off me, or I've given them to them, because they liked them so much. I always seem to give the good ones away. Um... And they hold their edge really well, and they're so strong. I mean, the the bocker itself here, look. I mean, that's that's about just over these seven mil thick. Compared, if I could grab these two, you can see the difference there. There's quite a, a difference in the in the blade thickness. Um, I can't ever see this one breaking, and and quite honestly, unless you seriously was prizing up something stupid you probably wouldn't break this I mean this has got no give in it at all um, I don't know the actual grade of the steel which probably would be easier to find out but I can't be asked um, but they make good little knives they're nice and light it's a good feel um, hope to make a slightly longer version same style blade but about another two inches longer if I can find a big enough saw blade obviously you can see you're slightly limited on the size you can do it's probably a 10 or 12 inch round blade uh, you can get bigger ones but I think they get thicker and obviously that makes it harder to work with uh, well that's some of my collection of stuff and homemade sheaves uh, so they started off pretty crude that was probably one of my first ones and then kept it simple simple design going with that one and then over the last sort of eight months I've improved to this I've made several sheaves as good as that quality i'm not saying i'm, a, I'm the best sheaf maker in the world but you just learn by trial and error and i'm not a knife maker well i suppose it would be classed as a knife maker if i've made knives but i just make these out of materials that i reclaim um i think that's the best way um probably to make that the blade was was a throw out it was in a skip found the deer antler got these bolts I've got a whole box of a hundred from Pound Poundland, so obviously only cost me a quid. So you can't go wrong. Uh, find the loveless bolts you can buy. They're so expensive, and it just puts the price up on the knife if you're actually selling them. And uh, going off cuts the leather, and a bit of time. Uh, probably total time to make that to that stage. Four hours. Yeah, I reckon about four hours. Another hour maybe for polishing. And I've got the sheaf to make for that yet as well. I did make one before with the next sheaf, but my friend Rob 
um, fell in love with that, so that's not on display, but I think it's on one of my other videos I haven't put on yet. Anyway, I hope that um, interests you guys, some of the stuff I'll get up to, they'll be posting more on soon, and um, thanks for watching.